Hello and welcome to another episode. It has been about a week since I have played this game and yeah, I I know that we last bloody hoof pick. Okay. What the hell? Quest as a quest item, okay? I know <clears throat> We found the dead man's ring. Okay. Uh, door keys. Quantity. I have dried meat. We have 192 groschen. Nice. Uh, we actually have a lock pick. Only one. Okay. All right. So I guess fine. Worm wood. If I go to Q, will that tell me abundant grows? Okay. All right, fine. Let's get out of this. And what's our? What's my health? Nourishment. We could. We could eat. Can I eat out of here? No. Uh, did we have any food in here? Okay, if I go, that's invent. No, that's my inventory. That's in here. Well, we got bread that is <laughs> ruined. Is there a way to? Well, it doesn't matter. All this food's ruined. Dried fruit is not ruined. Dried fruit. How do I just? Okay, we'll get this dried fruit, and we'll get this. Um. Uh, Oh no. Oh my god, I just took it all. All right, I'll I'll be back. Let me get rid of this. Okay. Uh as you can see, I took a bunch of stuff out of the chest, a bunch of the food and some crap clothing Where and are I Where you going? Oh, sorry, Teresa. Jeez. Uh so yeah, I just dumped it out on the floor, clearing out the chest a little bit. All right, so let's open the door here. Alright. Hey guys. Um, hi day, Miller. Henry. Yeah, good day to you too, Miller Pashek. Okay, here's our horse. Um, quest log. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, last episode, we found the ring and <coughs> we did a little bit of courtship with Teresa. And we got to ask her out again in a couple of days. The good thief, Miller Pashik and his niece Teresa, took care of me while I was at death's door. I owe them my life. Current objective, take the ring to the Miller in Colnitz. Okay. Alright. Um, hmm. Let's go to map. And... Where is Colnitz at? Neoff. Usnitz. Where in. What? How do we get to. Uh... Alright, so if I go back. If we go to quest log. Uh, B. So we go back to the map. B is right here. Oh, okay. What is. Okay. So, we just got to go, we got to get on our horse. Should I cross the river? I can't tell. Is that going to be, I think I will. I think we'll, we'll, uh, there's a bridge here. So we need to go left and cross the bridge and open this area up. Okay. Well, that, that might be fun to do. All right. So yeah, God, we've never been this way. Uh, X to mount. Uh, I think it's this way, right? Do I hold shift down? Okay, yeah, I've forgotten how to ride. Wow, really forgotten. Uh, so is this the bridge already? Uh, apparently. Check this out. I, I do love looking at 
all this stuff. It, look at that pig. All right, come on. It's raining. All right, let's just make uh, M for map, right? Okay, we're going the right way. All right, just want to make sure. All right, let's get up through here. Uh oh, what's this dude want? Oh crap, he's he's a knight. May I disturb you for a moment? Uh is this an ambush? Alright, so have you a moment? How do I how do I arm myself? I've forgotten. I have no wish to trouble you, good man. But if you could help me. Alright, what what? What is it then? <clears throat> it's about this. Challenge you to a duel. Oh, for Christ's Sir? sake, this guy what? again. You heard? Don't try to wriggle out of it. Let's get to it. Um. I've no time for a dueling now. Ah. Then I'm sorry for disturbing you. Okay, so, no, yeah, no. like I was saying, how do no, I get my somewhere. sword out? Just one? Okay, there we go. And blocking is Q. Okay. All right. Put the sword away. All right. Let's get back on the horse. Thanks for uh, d nothing, goofball. All right. Let's get going. Boy, this is beautiful. I discovered it shrine okay this is a beautiful game I I have to say all right so let's check the map we should have ex yeah we oh uh oh uh oh so I'm glad I checked the map because we need to turn right Let's head down through here. And if if we wanted, we could double tap shift, and yeah, we get a get a full run going instead of a gallop. Check this out. Oh, this is a pretty big river. All right, let's see where we're at. Um, crapola. <laughs> of course, of course, I should have went. It's on this side. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to. Well, can we cross? Uh, I think there's something up here we can cross. Maybe? Maybe not. No, that ain't... That's that's not a... Uh... Oh, shit. Get out of the... Jump. Oh, my God. Get out of this. What in the hell? Jump. 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 Man, I'm about to drown my horse. Wow. What in the actual hell? Okay. Um, let's try crossing over, oh, whoa. What the hell are you doing? Can we cross here? Ah, we can cross, perfect. Okay, so... I I am to see the miller here. You've discovered Miller. Okay. Alright, let's get off our horse. And find him. Are you uh Greetings, Henry? What? How do you know me? 
doing? Sorry. Is this your residence? May the Lord watch over you, Henry. I can't talk to this guy. But it says I discovered the miller. Um, take the ring to Miller in Colnitz. Alright, maybe it's this room here. Nope, this is... Wait a minute. Miller. Alright. <clears throat> I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. I'm supposed to deliver... Uh, okay. Miller Peshek from Ratai sent me with this ring for you. A ring? Here it is. Useless fucking bauble. You must be Henry, right? Peshek told me about you. What the... Why did you throw it away? Do you know how much trouble I had to get it? Peshek said it was important to you. Like I said, it's a piece of junk. It was just a test to see if you've got the balls to work for the miller. Uh. It's a custom of ours, testing fledglings in the trade with a nice little wild goose chase. We need to see if you'll be hobbled by pointless principles, or if you're willing to use your head. Congratulations. You passed the test, and now we'll have a few jobs for you. Okay. How can I sell stolen goods? Uh, can I help you? Okay, well, how can what I sell... What am I to do with these things I pilfer? No one will buy stolen goods from me. Buying and selling stolen goods is a crime. But if they're worth something, I can make sure they're, uh, properly cared for. Not that I'd buy them from you, but I could, uh, store them for you. And you'll get some coin for taking care of them before. So if someone loses something, and I happen to find it, I can bring it to you to store, and I'll get Groshen for it. That's the arrangement. Uh, sell the stolen good. What? Sell? I've got some goods here whose owners might miss them. All right. Let's see what we can do about that. Uh, I... Oh. Game saved. Oh, nice. So, game saved. Okay. What the heck? What is this? Who needs a key? Treasure map? Well, I don't want to... I have... This is buy. Okay, that's buy. Oh, I can buy a lock pick. So we should buy... We should buy another lock pick. I want to buy... Two? Uh, okay. Who needs a key? What is this? A skill book on opening locks. I would like to have that. Why? How much money? I have 192. Who needs? Uh, ah, no, we won't. Okay, fine. A treasure map for 90. No, I'll stick with that. Okay, sell. Oh, so I can sell him. Oh, I should have brought some stuff. I, I, I. Well. Bianca's ring. Um, the ring you gave to Bianca. No, we won't sell that. Okay. All right, I, that's all we'll sell. Okay, so basket and then close the deal. X. All right. Well, let's talk about the price. Why not? Oh God, haggling, making off. I forget. How you even... Wait a minute. Okay, let's offer him 20... 25. And then E to make offer. Agree? I'd almost shake on that. Almost. Okay. That. See now, I knew we'd come to an agreement. All right. Okay, so now what is quest log? All right, so that quest is done. 
courtship in a couple of days. So we go up here to the main quest. Mysterious ways. Ginger is hiding out in the woods in fear of his life because because by chance he recognized one of the bandits involved in the New Off massacre. Some fellow in some fellow with a limp who lives in Usitz. Okay, current objective: find the New Off bandit in Usitz. Or we could go with vengeance. Well, we'll do vengeance. My home. Yeah, I find this guy avenger parents find okay let's let's go with mysterious ways find the new off bandit in use it okay i've got to go to use it and track down the fellow with the limp all right a guy with the limp in use it okay so let's go get on our horse and we're going to um, fast travel to use it uh map use it okay we'll click here and fast travel do you want to fast travel? yes I love the old fast travel that's pretty nice I gotta say so long as we don't get attacked on the damn road like I did that one time over and over again be nice all right wow this was quite a ways away so, this guy has a limp. Oh, shit. Wayfarer. Uh, escape. I don't even know what a wayfarer is. Ah, right, we're almost, almost there. All right. Okay, we're in use -its. We're here. Objective updated. Find out where the limping bandit lives. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so. I've discovered herbalist. I've discovered alchemy bench. What? I've been here before. Why am I discovering things? Alright, so let's look at the map. Well, actually, I didn't want to look at the... What is this? Find out... So I need to go, Is does he live here? Um, hmm. Let me look at the map again. I don't know. Do we go this way? Alright, where does that put us at on the map? Yeah, then turn left. Okay, go down here and turn left, maybe? Maybe this guy knows. Let's get off the horse. Because I don't think I can talk to him on the horse. Hey. I'm at your service, Sir Knight. Sir Knight. Everybody calls me a knight. The fellow with the limp. I'm looking for a fellow who lives here, but I don't know his name. Do you know anyone with a limp? Aye, there is one fellow with a limp. Can't imagine what you want with the likes of him, but that's your affair. He lives in a cottage on the edge of the village by the road to Neuhof. Okay, he... L Visit Lubosch. What? Okay, Lubosch is down here. Alright, come on, horse. Uh, and it's starting to get night, it, it get dark, damn it. Um, uh, which is not the best, because it's, it's not exactly easy to find a bed. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's find Lubosch. Maybe he's got a bed we can sleep in when it gets dark. I think I screwed up. Yes, I did. Yeah, he's, he's in this 
area here. Well, we could go right here and turn right. Okay, come on. Alright, it's down here. What is going on here? Find out more about Limpy Lubosh. Something's about to go down. Move along, citizens. Move along. There's nothing to see here. If that's what you call nothing to see, I'd like to know what something to see looks like. <laughs> <sighs> By the keys of St. Peter, this is all I need. We'll have to send word to Sir Hanush. That might not be necessary. Who are you? I'm Henry of Scalitz, in the service of Hanush's captain, Bernard. I'm investigating the attack at Neuhof, and I think this could be related. Well, I'm the bailiff of Auschwitz. And I say we don't want any of that kind of trouble around here. What makes you think this has anything to do with Neuhof? One of the folk at the stud farm recognized someone from Auschwitz among the bandits. Auschwitz. There are no bandits or murderers around here. Really? They say you had a limp? Shit. Well, allow me to introduce you to Limpy Lubosch. Oh, he's dead. All that's left of him. <clears throat> Holy. Whoa! Holy shit. Oh, sacra. Oh, nothing's ever easy. I'll have to take a look around and ask a few more questions, if that's all right with you. You can take this mess off my hands and welcome to it. As for what else there is to find out, I don't know. But look and ask all you like. When was the body? When did you find the body? And did anyone see anything? Just now. And nobody saw or heard anything. I don't know how they could gut him like that without someone hearing him scream. Who was Who he? Who was Limpy Lubosch? A poor crofter and a scoundrel. Can't say I'm too surprised what happened to him. He kept company with all sorts of vermin. He was always getting into some kind of trouble. Punch-ups in the tavern and what have you. Um. Okay. Has he been up to anything suspicious lately? Hmm. I don't know. The last few days he didn't go anywhere. He was home the whole time. But he always kept everyone in the village at arm's length. Ah, did he have any did he cronies? Have any kith or kin in the village? Mm, none. A loner he was. Damn. I don't know the last time I saw him with anyone. Uh, okay. Do you happen to know where he was on the night of the Neuhof raid? I've no idea. He kept his distance from other folk, so you never knew if he was away or holed up at home. Why did he How limp? He, limped? he got that from some villainy or brawl a long time ago. All right, back in dialogue. Okay, it is getting dark. Where's my horse? All right, what is the, what am I supposed to do here? Quest log, find out more. I didn't, I just, didn't I just do that? M, B, all right, so we got to ride back up here. All right, fine. Uh, get on the horse. I'm out in the rain, it's getting dark. All right, ah! Look, sorry, sorry. You guys no, going to block the road? Always in the evening. Well, there's still a bit of light. He sits down and gets on with it. All right, where am I supposed to go? Over here. 
Come on, watch out. Stand aside. Coming through. Horse coming through. I guess I'm the only one with a horse in this town. Am I supposed to go here? What's that? Hey. Let's go. Hey. Are you looking for me? Hey. God be with you. Can you tell me anything about Lubash? Come Lubosch? in the name of Sir Hanish <laughs> of Lipa. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? Of course, ask away. Who was this Lubosch who was murdered? That man Lubosch who was murdered. What was he like? He was a drunk who was always looking for a fight. Nobody liked him much, but I wouldn't wish an end like that on any man. Have you noticed anything suspicious? Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? Well, now I think of it, I hadn't seen him around for a while. No idea where he was skulking. Do you know okay. what Lubosch was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? Not a clue. Do you know anyone Lubosch used to spend time with? Relatives or friends? He was a loner. He didn't even have any mates in the tavern. Same stuff that the That's other all. guy. Thank you. Okay. Well, now I've got to go over here. Okay. What are you doing here? Are you up or something? Hey, stop talking. All right, let's go. It's getting dark. It's raining. It rains a lot in this game. I don't like rain in games, to be perfectly honest. The lights are all going on. Am I supposed to go? Shit. I need to turn around. I thought I might be going too far. Let's go up through here. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Maybe there. Ah, okay. I think right over here. Maybe. Well, I'm right, right where I need to be. Kind of. Let's get off the horse for a second. Is there an uh, is there an entrance? Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. I uh, need to remember my horses there. Is there going to be somebody here I can talk to? All oh, this freaking rain. Hey. 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 I've come in the name of Sir Hanish of Lipa. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? I don't know how I can help you, but ask if you must. Um. Uh, uh, who did he Do meet you know with? Who Lubosch used to spend time with? Kin or friends? As far as I know, he had nobody at all in this world. Well, I'll just, I'll just ask every question. Maybe that'll come... You could see at first glance he was no good. I kept well out of his way. Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? There wasn't sight or sound of him for a long time. And then yesterday, he turned up at the church and even talked to the parish priest. I never ah, saw him do that before. The priest. Probably had a bad conscience. Ah, I, I knew it. Talk to the priest. Okay, back. That's all. Thank you. In dialogue. 
Okay, go get my horse. Which should be here. Hi, Pebbles. Sorry I've got you out in the rain like this, Pebbles, but I'm on an investigation. Why is this still? Find out more about Lubosh. Are you kidding me? This is the priest here. Have we not found out? Oh, did I not ask that woman enough questions? Son of a... I, pro I probably should have asked her more questions, right? Where'd that woman go? Get off the horse. Let's talk to this guy here real quick. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. God be with you. All I right. come in the name of Sir Hanush of Lyper. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? I don't know nothing about it, but ask all you want. That man right. Lubos who was murdered. Go through all this. What was he like? I didn't really know him. He kept to himself. A new level Even in, in speech. Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? Come to think of it, uh, he was in church yesterday. He was even talking to the priest and went to confession. I was wondering what he was up to. To take to the faith all of a sudden. But I suppose no sin's too dark for God's mercy. Okay. Do you know what Lubosch was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? I was coming from the tavern very late that night and I caught a glimpse of someone entering the village. He looked like he was in a hurry. It was only a shadow against the sky. But after what happened, I wouldn't wonder. And Do you that. know anyone Lubos used to spend time <clears throat> with? Relatives or friends? Not with anyone from the village. He used to sit in the tavern next to us sometimes. But he never said much. All right. That's all. Thank you. Okay. And that... It's still saying I need to find out more. Alright. And it's still saying I need to talk to people. Alright, let's do one more. Ma'am, can I trouble you? I've come in the name of Sahanish of Lyper. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? Ask away. Who was this Lubosh who was murdered? He was a drunkard and a beast. And lazy, too. Idle hands are the devil's tools. Amen, sister. Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? The only thing seemed suspicious was how a rogue like him suddenly started going to church. Now I see why, of course. I don't think I needed to talk to anyone else. Do you know no, what Lubosch was I... doing the day Neuhoff was raided? What do I care about that scoundrel? I was glad he stayed out of my way. Do you know who <clears throat> Lubosch used to spend time with? Kin or friends? He was always a loner. Okay. Except lately, he started talking to the parish priest of all, all right. people. Okay, back. That's all. Thank all you. Right. I'm not going to dis... Okay, end dialogue. Let's go talk to the damn priest. Enough of this. Where's my horse? Have I lost my horse? Here's my horse. Okay. Is the priest even awake? Well, there's people out on here on the road, so... Alright, let's go find the priest. Excuse me. Excuse me. Alright, here's the... Sorry. Jeez, sorry. Alright, here's... Alright, here we're, we're at the... This is the church, right? Alright. Alright, get off my horse. Are you the priest? Father Goodwin. Father, what? hey! The blessings of our good Lord be with you, Father. I'm here in the name of Sahanish of Lyper, investigating the massacre at Neuhof, which seems to be connected to a murder here. Can I ask you a few questions? It seems Sir Hanush is employing children as investigators. Uh, okay. You ask as you wish, boy. I hope this nasty business will be cleared up quickly. Did you know Lubosch? What was he like? A bit of a lost soul. Simple, rough fellow, but at heart I don't think he was such a bad person. Did you notice anything suspicious recently? My child, 
all sorts of suspicious things have been going on recently. People like Lubos don't know what to do about it, and sometimes they do stupid things. That's really not a lot of help to me, Father. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> do you know oh. what Lubos was doing on the day Neuhoff was raided? Unfortunately, I do know. And I'd like to help you with your investigation, but I can't. What? I'm bound by certain vows that forbid me to tell you. Oh vows more important than catching dangerous murderers? There are laws of God above the laws of man, son. And one of those is the sanctity of the confessional. There has to be some exception. Father, surely you can't be serious. There must be situations in which you can make an exception. There are things that apply always, no matter what the circumstances. And this is one of them. You can't hurt him now. You could be condemned to death. I'll get the confession. I, okay. But Lubosh is dead. You can't hurt him. But if you don't tell me, more innocent people may die. If I told you, I would Fail. be betraying a vow that's a cornerstone of the Holy Church. If people believed the sanctity of the confessional couldn't be trusted, the consequences would be even worse than that. Worse than the death of innocent Christians? Worse than the murderer escaping punishment? No one escapes punishment. Lubosch was my only lead. Father, Lubosch was my only lead to the Neuhoff raiders. Only he could tell me who was responsible for that massacre. If I don't find out who it was, it will probably happen again. Surely you wouldn't want that. I wouldn't. But I can't betray the sanctity of the confessional. I'll tell you what. Give me some time and I'll try to think up some way of helping you. Suppose we talk it over in the evening. In the tavern. Over a cup of good wine. Maybe we'll come up with something. All right. Thank you, Father. Meet the parish priest in the tavern in the evening. Well, what the hell is you, do you call this? I learned folk songs. All right. Get on my horse. Come on, Pebbles. I'm going to get some wine. Uh, where is this tavern? Okay, so the tavern is... Where did I come in here at? I think the father is going, he's going, he's going there right now, I bet. Let's just follow him. Father is, yep, he's going here right now. Is there a place to put my horse at? We'll just leave him right here. Here's fine. Okay, come on, let's get in here. Where'd he go? Inside? I think he went inside. Father? There you are. Okay, can I sit down? <coughs> the blessings of our Lord be... And with <coughs> you, lad, take a seat. Okay. I'm sorry I can't tell you everything, but maybe we can work something out. But first, I'd like to hear something about you, my son. <coughs> With whom do I have the honor? Where are you from? Uh, Skaltitz? I'm from Skaltitz. Skaltitz. Oh. How the hell did I get Skaltitz? I earned the priest's trust. Oh, no, that's an objective. Uh, they're dead. They're dead. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Here, we'll drink to them. It must have been terrible. It was. It was terrible. It seemed so pointless. We had no oh. warning. Hello, lady. They just appeared and began the slaughter. God knows why. They killed anyone who didn't make it to the shelter of the castle. My parents, my girl. Even the Deutsch who was on Sigismund's side. I didn't make it to the castle. I wanted to try and help my parents, but there was nothing I could do. Then I fled to Talmberg with the Cumans on my heels. They almost killed me. They slaughtered people in the surrounding villages. There was a pile of bodies in front of the church in Rovna. Folk who tried to take refuge there, but they... they... My poor child. Here you are. May God grant them eternal rest. And how did you come to get this assignment? 
I'd have expected Sir Hanish to send that old grouch, Bernard. He did send him. Do you think I'm not a... He did send him. What? Uh, he did, but I found a witness and the trail led here to Ujit, so he sent me here to follow it up. Ah, well, congratulations. It's nice to see someone using their head to find things out instead of torture. We'll have to drink to that. <laughs> now the most important thing. What actually happened at Noyo? The good folks here about are saying all kinds of terrible things, but I take most of it with a pinch of salt. This time they weren't exaggerating. The rumors aren't exaggerated this time, unfortunately. The Neuhof stud farm was raided by bandits, but they didn't come to pillage or even take the horses. They only wanted to kill. They maimed the horses and slaughtered some people. I'm sure they would have killed more, but the bandits quarreled among themselves and broke off the attack. And judging by what's left of our Lubosch, they're still settling accounts. I see it's every bit as bad as people claimed. Dreadful. Well then, here's to those poor souls who had to die so pointlessly and so terribly. I've told you all about me. Now it's your turn, Father. You don't look much like our parish priest at home. Well, we've had an agreeable chat, but now let's get down to business. So, about this confession... Okay. <laughs> Do you really want more innocent people to die? <clears throat> Henry, that's not how it works. There are matters in which you can't make exceptions, because if you do it once, you'll forever be tempted to do it again. If people stop believing in the church because their confessional secrets are betrayed, they won't trust anyone, and that's worse than even the most hideous crime. Then I've reached a dead end. You're making a... Uh... I understand, but that means I've reached a dead end. Those cutthroats will strike again, and I can't stop them. Chin up, lad. I might have a solution. What? If I tell you what Lubos told me, I'd be betraying the confessional secret. But... First thing tomorrow, I'll try something I think might help you. Word of honor? On my soul. I always wondered about the things a priest tells his congregation. Where is do you get the ideas for your sermons? Well, Ujits isn't prog. It's not enough to instruct people. They have to be entertained, too. If I only read from the Bible, I'd soon be preaching to an empty church. Our priest wasn't exactly a bard. So what do you preach to your flock about? It has to be something topical, condemning vices, and of course describing them in detail. A tongue lashing about the two popes goes down well these days, and stories from real life with a nice moral to them are popular as well, especially if they're about fornication and similar scandalous vices. <laughs> Can you give me an example? Well, recently a priest by the name of Jan Hus started preaching in Prague in the Czech language, and the people liked it. I hear he always has a full house. A journeyman who heard him told me what Hoos is preaching, and I like the sound of it. I'm thinking about putting it in my own repertoire. What's so amazing about it? The preaching of Master Jan Hoos about Mother Church. The lamentable wealth in which the church is drowning has turned to poison, and nearly the whole of Christendom is contaminated. Just like a flock of hungry ravens, they settled on this land to devour every grain of gold and silver. They know no mercy. Their hearts are corrupted by longing for wealth. And they shamelessly profit from everything. You want to baptize a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder? Pay and you will have absolution. What if the devil himself were to pay? Would he ascend to heaven too? With such money gained from the poor, they buy beautiful horses to ride and needless servants to pamper them. They gamble at dice and dress their whores in expensive fur. While Jesus Christ walked barefoot and had no place to lay his head. Alrighty. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God and his people too. Amen. <laughs> well, this Jan Hu's character is quite a rebel. Oh, the congregation will love it. I don't doubt it. Let's drink to that. <laughs> Let's Funny. drink. That last bit reminds me of someone. What do you mean? My situation is completely different. Who preaches against the prelates and the clerics who are robbing the poor? Look at me. I don't have a pot to piss in. I'm no better off than the folk I preach to. 
I'm one with them in poverty and suffering and everything that troubles them. I drink with them and curse those stuffed habits in Sasal Monastery. Uh, you want to preach against debauchery? What do you think? Uh, enough about preaching? Yes. Holy Thanks for crap. the sermon, but I think I've been morally uplifted enough. Oh, it's getting quite late. What are your plans, Father? What do you suppose? We have a drink, of course. Oh God, I'm not in the mood for boozing. Yeah, let's. Well, enjoy it, Father. I have to go now. I'm not much in the mood for a drink. <sighs> I thought you'd be more game. So you won't help me out with that secret? Find out no, if anyone knows anything about Limpy. Thank you very oh, much. my god. You're welcome. Oh, I failed to earn the priest's trust? <sighs> my god, oh, this... Alright. Alright, well... Okay, so what now? Quest log... Find out if anything. Oh my! So I'm right back. Unfortunately, I didn't learn anything useful from the person. So I'm right back where I started. I'll have to ask around if anyone else knows anything. Maybe the town bailiff. If not, perhaps Sir Radzik or Sir Hanish can advise me. All right. So we'll find the town bailiff and ask him. And if not, then go, yeah, I think I screwed up with the priest. I should have listened to him babble on about sermons more, but holy crap. Uh, yeah, no thanks. All right, we, next episode, we will continue. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.